There's some people here tonight that, um, some fellow pioneers and some fellow legends that ha had a lot to do with, with, with making that incredible comet bright. You know, you take, for instance, the one of the best mogul runs ever in our history was one of the first ones. And I don't know how he did it, but he had this, he built, he, he built this, this lip on this cornice or something, and it was like above the starting gate somehow. And when he went off the lip, he did this signature little thing that he does that no one else seemed to be able to do. And when he landed, he hit me a couple turns, did a spread eagle, skied like a Cheshire cat down the bottom mount, passed the judges' stand, gave him a look like, how are you going to judge that? Now, join me in appreciation for Eddie Ferguson, my buddy, one of the greatest mogul runs ever made. Stand up, Eddie. Here's another one. Again, we didn't have standards, we didn't have, like, the, the, the jumps, the way the jumps were built. We had to, when we showed up, because we had to figure out what we could or couldn't do off each of the jumps. And again, we were testing limits. We were discovering new stuff. And when you think about the challenge of doing the first twisting flip, I know they're going crazy in the air now, but they got us to back them up. But to do the very first one, when you think about the guts to do that, to, to, to go in a competition and throw the first full twisting front flip, and he ended up winning the first Pecana Cup, my good friend Bob Feeball. Put yourself in those shoes. Um, another one. Again, we didn't have a reputation for being disciplined. <laughs> that could win in any one of the three events. We have ballet, moguls, and aerials, right? And, and they could win in any one of the events. They could win a ballet run, they could win a mogul run, they could win an aerial event, and they did. They won in all three events on their way to winning a total of eight overall championships between the two of them. And they gave us a reputation of beating people that were disciplined and had to train hard because you couldn't strike in all three events if you didn't work your ass out. So join me in my appreciation of both Scotty Brooks Band and Marion Post. Let us all work harder. Okay, one last one. One last one. Probably the most indelible picture in all of freestyle skiing is a picture that was taken at the 74 World Championships at Heavenly Valley. And the two of them were receiving the Freestyle Skier of the Year Award, the Doug Parker Freestyle Skier of the Year Award. And they were on the podium. And they gave us one of the greatest all-time pictures ever taken in sports when he wrapped his big Italian lips right around her sweet face and gave her the greatest picture kiss we've ever had in the history of freestyle skiing. Bob Salerno and Ginya Fuller. I know you're here. Thank you. I'm going to be here.